Let's make some puppets. Hello, my name is Adam Krutinger and I'm a puppeteer and YouTuber. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple puppet that you can make at home. It's inspired by one of my favorite books, by one of my favorite authors, and that's The Notebook of Doom, Rise of the Balloon Goons by Troy Cummings. It's a really funny book and I highly recommend you check it out. But in this book, there are these characters, these balloon goons, and you've probably seen something like them before. A lot of stores used to have these blow up balloon creatures that wave around like this. Can you guys do that too? Go ahead, try to dance like a balloon goon. Woo! So that gave me the idea to make a balloon goon puppet. Now the balloon goons we're gonna be making are not gonna be made out of actual balloons. We're gonna use regular supplies that you can use around the house. Here, this is the project that I was looking at. You can see it just uses some basic supplies. A little wooden stick, a cardboard tube, some tape, a little bit of cloth, and some scissors and glue. And luckily I have all those materials right here. The first thing that I'm gonna use is this paper towel tube, but I'm gonna cut it down to be a little bit shorter. And for the sticks, you could use pencils, popsicle sticks, but I found these uh, chopsticks here that I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to glue this stick down. Make it sure it's nice and secure. Like that. Now I'm gonna draw a line where I'm gonna cut the mouth out. I'm gonna do the mouth for my puppet right about here. I'm just gonna draw a little square like that. Be careful cutting this part out. You might need help from an adult. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is wrap fabric around this tube. And for that, I like to use felt. I found some red felt that's gonna look really nice for our balloon goon. Now let me glue that down too. Then I'm gonna roll it up just like this. I'm gonna put some glue right here though. Then let's trim off the rest. There it is, it's coming along. Now right here I can feel where that square is, where the square is cut out. I want to cut a little slip at the top of the square, right where the mouth meets. So let's carefully do that. You can see in there we have now a little mouth, like that. So watch this, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this stick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little dot of glue on the tip of the stick. It's gonna go in through the bottom and attach to the bottom lip right here on this flap. Just like that, starting to look like a puppet. So technically now this is a little puppet. The mouth is moving and we can do all types of little movements with him. Now comes the fun part. We get to add some details and decorate it. Now to decorate this puppet, I have a couple things here. I have some different colored felts here. I have white and black, which I think will make really nice eyes. And I found these scraps of fabric that I think will make really nice balloon goon arms. And lastly, I also found a scrap of fur that I think is gonna make some really funny hair. Let's start designing.
there he is. Hey! <laughs> so that's our little balloon goon. Not only can he talk, but he can also dance like a balloon goon. guys enjoyed this fun little puppetry project. Puppetry is one of my favorite things to do for many reasons. First of all, it's a lot of fun. And the thing I like most about it is, depending on what kind of puppets you make, it uses so many different skills. There's sculpting involved, there can be sewing involved. It's one of the most diverse crafts that you can do. And even better yet, you get to play with it after and get to do a little performance. And that's another thing I really like about using puppets is I get to be anything I want. If I want to play a dog, I can make a little dog puppet. If I want to be a balloon goon, I could make a little balloon goon puppet. Puppetry can really open up your imagination. Anyway, thanks so much for having me. If you enjoyed this little craft, I have a whole bunch of other puppet videos on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out as well. Thanks a lot guys, see you next time.